Hi, boys and girls. How are you today? This is Ramsey, and Ramsey is my old doggy, and he just needed some snuggles, but he gets very uncomfortable when you pick him up. He'd rather you come down to him, so I'm going to let him down, and we're going to talk today about a really great website called Epic. So, we're going to share screen today, um, and I'm going to show you all about Epic, which is a great place to find some awesome books for free. So if I share my screen and I'm going to sign into Epic Books, oops, there we go. So it says to log in at school, you're going to go to get epic.com okay you want to go to get at epic.com slash students and they're going to give you a class code now you're going to have your name already there because we've already put your um, information from your google classroom on there so it should be all set up for you if it's not let us know and we will make sure that you have access to Google Classroom so that you can get on but you're gonna put in this code yep 2324 and then you're gonna see what it's like to be a student so these are all our kids that are already in there you may see your name you may not see it if you do not see it let us know and we'll make sure that you get on in there okay I'm gonna click guest student because then that way I won't mess with anybody's settings and this is the home page so there are so many different kinds of books to choose for uh, to choose from so <laughs> I've read I love my white shoes the Pete the cat book to Hunter or read it with him uh, about a hundred times so it's giving me options based on what he likes but let's look at some things that we like so these are some popular searches and all I did was I clicked up here in the search bar um, you can put in something that we all like very much is biography so that's a genre that a lot of students in this group really really like so you've got all kinds of biographies available and more and you've even got videos to show you audiobooks that would be read to you some of these should look familiar because we've got them in our classroom also so this would be something great for you to do for independent reading time um you can also choose by reading level age fiction or nonfiction. um we can put all kinds of things in here okay so let's look at books specifically and let's look at fiction books And maybe we want to look at books that have quizzes at the end so that you can quiz yourself. Oh, no content found for biography in fiction because, of course, biography is nonfiction. So let's look at some of these other ones. All interests here. Adventure, art, arts and crafts, baseball, basketball, big cats, biography. That was one that we loved. Bravery, bullying, cars and trucks, cats, Chinese, coding, comics. It goes on and on and on. Look at all these awesome choices and then you've even got languages down here now this is not if you speak these languages this is if you want to learn these three languages Spanish Chinese and French um, but you really have lots to explore so I'm going to stop the share there and you feel free to let us know if you need any help but go and engage and enjoy and there are no rules right now um, we might um, assign you some books down the road uh, depending on how far we go, but for right now, just read and just remember what you love about books. Um, we'll see you soon. Bye.